Hi, I'm Dave Roberts and this is Anglin Escapades. Hi there and welcome to Anglia Escapades on the banks of the River Wye today and uh, you join me and Monty on another wet day. It's kind of just stopped raining for a little bit now but we've had more rain this morning and it just continues this horrendous autumn stroke winter we've had where we've just had rain after rain and um, it doesn't get any better but we've still been getting out, we've still been catching fish, we've been out with, with guests and clients and um, we've had some bumper days so if you can get it right if you can get on the bank, uh, you know, it's, it's, there's still fish to be caught and um, this is just one opportunity now because this river is actually dropping at the moment despite the rain we've had today. It'll probably rise again later on today or tomorrow, but this is a good opportunity now while the river's dropping, maybe these fish might just go on the feed a little bit and we can catch a few. Now, the peg I've come to today is um, sort of a classic, classic peg for high water really. You've got the tree above us here and then this creates this slack water here and it really is quite a slack here and um, you'd really fancy it for catching a few fish so um, what I aim to do today is I've just set up I'm just going to fish nice and simple with pole rigs and I'm going to uh, fish with worms and casters and I'm just going to drop a bait into this slack because these fish will be used to be coming in and out of the slacks at the moment and they'll be um, you know they might be out in the flow but they'll be used to coming back here so I feel that if I can put some bait in uh, into one area I can hold it steady and um, we'll have a chance. Now I'm, I'm basically really I'm, I'm going to try and fish for bigger fish today uh, whether that be in the guise of some big roach or uh, maybe a chub or maybe even a barbel I don't know but uh, maybe a perch even but um, you know through fishing this way dropping dropping worms and casters uh, a bit of hemp as well fishing worms on the hook I feel like anything we catch should be half decent. So the way I'm going to approach it is I've got uh, two rigs set up uh, I've just set my long whips up. I'm not, I don't generally carry a pole with me uh, in, in, through the winter on the wide, but uh, long whips seem to do the job for everything. So what I've set up is I've got one two gram rain bodied float, okay, which is shotted with a just a normal bulk of, uh, of drill, drill bullets. Um, and then I've got one number eight dropper there. So not a lot of shot below the, below the uh, not, not a lot of shot below the bulk. And what that'll enable with that rig, I'll be able to fish sort of a, a half a dendrobina or a, even a lobworm um, and, and sort of like search the peg out a little bit. Uh, see and try and find the fish. So I'll be sort of casting and sort of swinging it out and then letting it bob around and um, hopefully sort of attracting a fish that way. I've also got set up a, a flat float. Now again, because the water's so slack, um, a six gram flat float really was ample for this today. Uh, so I've just got a uh, a six gram flat float again with the the bulk of shots and then i've got two number eights down below there and my bottom number eight that's set just off bottom so that also i'll have no shots on the bottom and i've got about 12 inches of line on the bottom so it's a nice real stable rig i can fish this if the conditions change and the river starts rising i can fish this and hold the bait really still uh, or if I want to go a bit further out and actually go into the flow, I can fish this as well. So it just gives me a bit of variation on my rigs, but ultimately I'm going to be droppering bait into one area and hopefully sort of nailing them around that area. So like I say, um, my bait is, is mainly worms and casts. I've got some hemp there. So all I'm going to do is just chop some worms and I'm not going to chop these very fine. The worms, you know, for me are all about the flavour at this time of year, so I'm just going to put a couple of lobworms in there as well, just mix it up a little bit. And this is why I say, this in this coloured water, it's the flavour with the worms that I think draws the fish in. And there we go, we've got chopped up worms, nothing too fine. There'll be bits of all sizes there to really hopefully get the fish homing in on those. So all I'm going to do then is I'm going to take, I'm going to drop her, I'm going to put one dropper of um, of worming and then I'm going to put one bait dropper 
of hemp in and one bait dropper of casters in. And that will give me three different baits. All the fish that I mentioned earlier that we're perhaps targeting, they all eat worms, they all eat hemp and they all eat casters. So I feel if I put one of each in to start with and let's see what settles over them. So all I'm going to do, I've set this to fish, uh, this rig to fish at seven meters. I've actually got my, my rig length is about five and a half. So I've got a meter and a half of pole from the hook to the thing. So that'll enable me if I hook a big fish to play them out on that. And I've also got an extra section to add on if I need to. So that's the line I'm going to be fishing once the, once the float settles, about seven meters out. So once again, as normal, big dropper. Don't use small droppers. Okay, so we're going to put one of worm in. It's just a case of just swinging it and making sure this lands where you where you want to fish. Okay, you don't want to get this too wrong because it's um, going to fish quite tight. It's just a case of swinging it out. And you can swing it further than you want and then just let it settle back sort of just under the pole tip because ultimately that's where the float is going to settle is in line with the pole tip. So back there, pop it down, and it's going to come out. Two worms. So now I'm going to put one of hemp in. So quite positive feeding. I'm not messing around. I'm going to put you know, a bed of feed that most fish are going to come upon. So the same again. A little bit lower down the peg on this one. Just because hemp obviously will sit straight on the bottom. So again, just drop it in place. Pull. There we go. That's the positive that. And then finally the casters. Big dropper of casters. Okay, and these are going to go a little bit higher up the peg. So maybe another foot higher up the peg. Still on the same line. Swing it out a little bit further than you want it, and then just let it settle down under the hole tip. Drop it down to the bottom nice one. Okay, so we've done our feeding now, so I'm going to start off. And my starting bait is just going to be half a, half a dendrobina worm. Just on cue, the, uh, the rain started coming down heavier. I was a little bit surprised by that. So, half a dendrobina worm. So it's just a case of swinging your bait out. So as it's going sort of past the line where you fed, and then just sort of hold back against the float and let it just, just drift back in over that area that's been fed and the, to the flow just sort of slowly drifts it round and quite often you'll get bites as it sort of swings round. I say it's an incredibly steady pace for considering as we've got we've got nearly over seven foot of water on today and this uh, I mean it's always been renowned as a slack peg this one where you know it's what we call the main because that mound of sort of that trees growing on it does just hold the flow back. So even in these dirty conditions, it's fancy getting a bite or two. So the only problem possibly is it's, it has gone, you know, it went very cold before it started raining last night. We had sort of sub-zero temperatures, and so any rain that's come in will be will be cold. So what I do in these early stages is, you know, while I'm waiting for fish to find the bait, I'll tend to not leave it in the same place for too long. What I'll do is I'll lift that out now, and I'll just swing it out again. Just see if you kind of searching, because the fish will still be coming in and searching, and you can sort of go a little bit down the peg. Just let it swing round in the, in the current. I'm not going to loose feed anything at the moment. I just want to see if anything will just really home in on that, on that bait that we've put down here with the bait droppers. That's swinging around now and you can see every now and again the float sort of bobs under because it's catching the bottom. So your bait's virtually sort of scraping rain. It's coming now over the area where that bait has landed. And I say I wouldn't expect lots of bites today, but fishing the way we're fishing I would hope that there's Anything we do get will be half decent. So that literally, that just, that's just 
cold and lovely there. I don't need, you know, I don't need a flat float on there because that that rain body float is just settled into its little, just in line with the fold tip, and it's uh, it's not going anywhere, you know. I know my bait's still. As I say these are the pegs that you need to look for when you come in in uh, in flood conditions or high water conditions. Find these slacks. Of course it helps know in the river because unfortunately at this time of year you could be fishing in high water and you could you know set your tackle up on a peg where there's where there's a tree in the water that you're not you're not aware of but I know this peg's re relatively clear okay, so I'm just gonna swing that out again keep searching There we go. Nice little roach to start with. Not the big fish I was hoping for, but shows there's fish willing to open their mouths. So we'll uh, go and see what we can see if we can find a bigger one. It's incredible how how a, a session can change you know I set set out with my stall for fishing you know uh, for you know with worms for, for bigger fish and um, you know thinking we might get a few bites or some big roach and stuff and I've ended up you know I've not had any bites really on worms I had a couple of small roach on it but um, I've ended up I've started loose feeding I'm now fishing maggots on the hook still feeding shot worm I keep putting a dropper of shot worm in occasionally but just putting casters in and um, I've started catching really nice roach you know just to have fishing to hand I mean you know some of them you probably net but I'm swinging them to hand and it's really nice fishing so um, it just goes to show how, how, a, how a session maybe doesn't pan out the way you expect but you know I've still given myself a chance of, of a big fish as well by putting worms in I can try a worm occasionally but at the moment this is just really enjoyable fishing like a double maggot, loose feeding a bit of caster, of course because of the flow, because it's such a steady peg, you, know, you can loose feed knowing that your bait's actually hitting the bottom or going down where you want it to, which 
you know, is quite rare on a, you know, on a river where you've got seven foot on. There you go, you know I always like to end on a decent fish and I don't think it gets more decent than that. Fill that for a roach. Yeah. I don't know how many of these we've seen on this river this winter, it's just been incredible. There must be absolutely thousands. So there you go. That's kind of the sort of fish I was looking to hope, hope, hopefully catch on worms, but uh, it didn't work out that way today. And. Um, it's been a it's been a bit different than what I expected, you know. But ended up catching loose feeding, fishing with maggots, um, you know, over the like same line that I was feeding the worms. We've had a few on worms, but uh, it just goes to show you, you can never tell, um, you know. Seven foot of water, and I didn't think it would be easy, um, but it's actually been quite conventional. I probably would have caught fishing ground bait and hold to hand that way, but uh, it's um, just goes to show. Just because it's an incredible river, um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, please keep subscribing. Uh, we're building up a, a real nice audience now and um, I think, um, you know, hopefully we've got loads of things planned for different videos. Uh, unfortunately at the moment the conditions keep dictating that we're fishing high water but uh, as soon as this river drops off we've got pike fishing, we've got salmon fishing, we've got all kinds of other course fishing to, to do. So um, looking forward to that. So um, our next video, keep an eye out for it, Christmas Eve we're doing a Christmas special so uh, hopefully we'll be in slightly different conditions then uh, and maybe something different. So. Um, Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.